So during scapular elevation, um, what is the role of the clavicle? Scapular elevation? Yeah. So when you do scapular elevation, you're going to have like the whole shoulder girdle move. So when you do that, which way does the clavicle go? Clavicle goes, goes down. The, well, the, the sternal thing, head? The whole thing. As you do it, it goes up. the whole thing comes up. So our roll is superior. And then is this one convex concave or concave convex? So if it's rolling, of our clavicle will be convex on concave. No, concave on convex. It's convex, it's convex for these movements. Okay. But then once we get here, it turns into concave and convex. So then we're going to have superior roll with an inferior glide. And then with depression, it would just be the opposite. I was just trying to think of how the, how the clavicle was. I know, it's hard to picture it because so I know it has like, it does that around the sternal head, right? Mm -hmm. And so it's doing this. Yeah. So it'd be con, like you said, concave on convex? It's convex on convex. concave. Okay, convex on Yeah, concave. and I'm not sure why, like I can't picture it myself, why that is. You just have to memorize which ones are what. So these are convex. Um, so, during a retraction, what do you think the role is? Retraction. So it's going like this. So the, the roll would go posterior. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And so because it's concave convex, our glide is also posterior. And then protraction is just opposite. It's going to come anterior. Anterior for, is that, and that's for both of them? Yeah. Okay. So these are orthokinematics at the sternoclavicular joint. So really you just need to memorize which ones are convex concave and which ones are concave convex. And then you can kind of figure out the rest of it on your own. Cool. Um.